Spurgeon here with Revzilla to talk to you about the Speedy 4 Season H2 Out Jacket available at Revzilla.com. So what you're going to see on my left hand side is going to be Speedy's 4 Season option. What you're getting is you're getting a thermal liner, you're getting a nice waterproof H2O destination liner underneath here, and then you're also getting massive amounts of mesh paneling that are going to be hidden really nicely below this 10x material. So what we're going to get to is you're going to see how much airflow you can get in the summer months, as well as layering up with the liners you're going to have with this to get you into the winter months. Now, let's spend a second and talk about sizing. So buzzsaw on the left hand side is going to be 6 foot, 215 pounds, 36 inch jeans that he wears, and then he's also going to have a 46 inch chest. According to Speedy's size chart, he should be in a 2XL. If he was going to wear this on a regular basis with all the liners in, with the chest protector and the back protector added, he would wear a 2XL. We have him in an extra large to show that if you are wearing this the majority of the time with the liners out, you're not planning on putting a chest protector or a back protector in here, you're going to want to size down one size based on Speedy's size chart. So just keep that in mind when you're figuring out the correct size for yourself. Now sizes are going to range from extra small up to 4XL. There's four different colors available. We've got Buzzsaw in the gray red version. Really nice clean lines for this for you touring adventure riders out there. Now as far as Speedy is concerned, they're an Italian brand. They're a premium player and we've really seen them give us a nice push into the American market over the past 12 months and we're really glad to have them here because their quality is honestly second to none. Now what you're going to see with the Four Season H2 out. This is going to be your nice 10x shell. You do have the drop liner system in this so you can go waterproof, you can go thermal and you can interchange exactly how those are being used. If you want to take a step up from this, you can take a look at the RAID. The RAID is going to bump you up about $300 from the $550 price point up to around the $850 price point, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. Personally, I like the four season a little bit better than I like the RAID. I think you're getting more ventilation with this, and the overall fit and finish at the $550 price point is really tough to beat. So personally, I'd recommend sticking with the four season over something like the RAID from Speedy's lineup. Now, Let's take a second and just work our way through this and let's break it down, starting with the top collar on this. The first thing you're going to notice is the little red EST tab, and that stands for Ergonomic Safety Tuning. And what this allows, it allows you to use a snap closure, but once you have that in place, you can fine tune where the snap sits with Velcro. So you can set it and then you can forget it. So once that Velcro is down, you can then just go ahead and use the snap to figure out exactly where you want that closure to sit. As you work your way through this, you're going to notice along the top of this, you have some 3D mesh. You can see that rain liner popping through, and it is going to work nicely to make sure that you can see even that rain liner works over top of the jacket collar, so you're not going to have to worry about water pushing through the top on that. It's going to work to keep you dry very nicely. Working our way through the arms on this, the first thing you notice, it does include the Force Tech CE Level 1 armor with this, so you're going to have impact armor at the shoulders as well as the elbows on this. And Buzz, I'm going to hold your hand up. You're also going to notice little pops of reflectivity at the bicep, as well as a bicep adjuster and a forearm adjuster. Now, the one thing that I like about this, you're going to see a nice zip running all the way up the arm. And if I go ahead and I grab the zipper and pull this down, it's a two-way zip. So you can use it as a vent zip to get you air up underneath the armpit. And the zipper goes underneath the adjusters. So the adjusters are actually going to work nicely to make sure that material doesn't pull apart on you. And then, when we get to the bottom on this, you have a dual snap closure and you have the second half of that zip. So you can have a nice three quarter zip running all the way up the arm for maximum ventilation, or you can just use this in the colder months to get in and out of the jacket with ease. But you're going to notice that nice mesh material will flow an absolute ton of air if you are utilizing that as a vent in the summer months. Pulling this back, you can see the dual liners coming through. You've got that thermal liner popping through to make sure you're warm, and you have that waterproof liner overlaying on top of the thermal liner. So we go ahead and we'll zip this back up and we're going to go ahead and snap that closure point. Working the way down the front, bus, I can go ahead and set your arm down. Working your way down the front on this, you're going to have nice pops of reflectivity running its way across the chest. I love the way the Speedy has incorporated the branding so it doesn't, over, it doesn't overcome the jacket, if you will. Little asymmetrical Speedy logo over on the left hand side. Really nice clean lines working your way through this. And the first thing you're going to come to are those massive chest vents that we're talking about. And this is where you're getting that massive amount of ventilation. Just want to open one of these up for you. And what you're going to notice are the snaps here. So you're going to have snaps on the outside, snaps on the inside. And what this allows you to do is you can roll this up 
You can tuck it underneath, and then you can go ahead and you can snap it closed. Now, I'm not going to push on that because I don't want to don't hurt Buzzsaw's de delicate sensibilities there, but if you just pop that one there, you can see it goes in really nicely and it gives you a nice clean line that's going to give you massive amount of ventilation pushing through the chest. It's going to stay, stay nice and snap closed and it just completes the look. So it doesn't look like you have this big piece of bulky material hanging out. It looks like it's naturally supposed to do this. So really great four season functionality when we're talking about using this and turning it into your summer option. As you're working through the storage on this, you are going to have zip pockets right along the midsection of your belly, and then down at the very bottom of that three-quarter cut, you are going to have fold-over pockets, and there's going to be a snap on either side, and they are going to be waterproof. You can see they are going to be a waterproof lined pocket, so if you have a cell phone, you have an electronic device, you need a place to store it, the main two bottom fold-over pockets will be waterproof with this piece. The other thing to notice is we're down in this area, there will be a fold-over, a snap fold-over on the bottom of the zipper. So if you are using this, you don't have to worry about it, the zipper itself scratching up the tank of your brand new motorcycle. But also, I'll go ahead and face sideways for me, throw that hand up in the rider position. Now, as we talked about in the beginning, the main construction is the main shell is going to be a proprietary 10X material from Speedy. But what they've done here is in the back of the shoulder blades, they've incorporated a stretch 10X or a flex 10X is what they call it. And what this allows for is if you are a little bit more of a full tuck or a little more of a tuck sport touring position, you get a little bit more range of motion. You can get down there and it gives you, it doesn't pull in the back of your shoulders. And then if you're in more of an upright position on maybe an adventure touring bike, you still get that range of motion that you can throw the jacket around if you're in a little bit more of an aggressive off-road situation. So I like the fact that they've incorporated this without utilizing gussets, you still get that nice range of motion and it maintains that nice clean look. As you work your way down the side, you're going to have a slide adjuster up at the top underneath the armpit for right around your chest to really fine tune that down. And at the bottom, you just have a traditional Velcro adjuster that you can use to fine tune how this fits. And you can really work it all the way down the jacket to get you a nice clean fitment at the top as well as down the bottom. But so you can go ahead and face backwards for me. Now starting at the top, working your way through, nice mid height to the collar on this, really works its way up underneath the helmet. You can see that nice comfort 3D sweat wicking mesh really adds for comfort, but also helps to pull the sweat away in those warmer months. Now, here's where we get into that venting scheme again. You can go ahead and you can unzip this, and you're going to notice, and I'm not going to roll this one all the way down, but you're going to see it's that really nice, same clean line that we saw in the beginning, and you're getting that massive amount of mesh on the back, and they are water-resistant YKK zips. So if you do have this closed up, you do have that nice layer of extra waterproof protection in the shelf for water resistancy. And if you want to open that up, you can roll it down. You have those same snaps along the back, and you have a massive mesh panel. So all that airflow that's pushing through from the front has a place to go as it exits out the back. Working our way down, one of the things you'll notice, and I didn't notice it right away, a little pop of reflectivity here, but you have this zip running down the left-hand side, and this leads you into a rabbit pouch. So as you begin to pull those liners out, as the temperatures begin to change, maybe it's not raining, you do have a place to store all of that extra material. Now, the one thing I will say, it is a lined rabbit pouch, but it's just a large YKK Vizlon zip. So it's not a water resistant zip. So maybe in the future, we put a water resistant zipper on here and give you a little bit more of a waterproof functionality out of this. But it does a nice job of holding all those extra liners. Now, as far as protection is concerned, we mentioned the fact that this is going to come with that Force Tech CE armor in the elbows and the shoulders. There'll also be connection points to add the Warrior Pro or the Warrior back pad with this. There's going to be Velcro points. You can add the back protector as well as the chest protector, giving you multiple protection points from the Force Season H2O out. But so you can go ahead and face forward for me. If you go ahead and on snap, on zip, you can see him using the EST control system as he unzips the large zipper. YKK Vizlon zips. You do have that over point at the end like we talked about. And as he's on doing this, you're going to notice he undid the removable thigh straps with this. So you do have the connection point for the thigh straps, which will work their way around the inside of the thigh to make sure the jacket stays in place, it stays down. And like Buzzsaw just demonstrated, if you don't want to use those, they are completely removable. Now on the inside on this, you do have this speedy H2O jacket liner. And like I said, this is a nice destination piece. When you get to the campfire at the end of the night, you can wear this with the outer shell removed. Thermal liner is going to sit inside that, so you're still warm, you're still dry, even if you're just using this as a destination piece. The other thing Speedy does, let's go ahead and we're going to unsnap this. They clearly label everything for the connection points. So this is going to be our thermal slash rain loop. And what you can do here is if you want to take the rain liner out, you can use just the thermal liner without the rain liner. You can interchange exactly how you want this to sit. You're also going to notice you have the snaps here for the chest protector as well as the Napoleon pocket 
on the left hand side. But so I'm going to get an on zip the, uh, the H2O outliner. Now starting with the collar, really nice tall collar this. Really going to block any of the water pushing up underneath your neck. I love how tall the collar goes. And as he undoes the zipper, one of the things you'll notice is they have multi layers of zippers with plenty of flaps overlying that zipper. When I was using a speedy jacket on the BMW R1200 RS review, it was about 35 degrees and it rained half the week. I stayed dry and I stayed warm. So I love the zipper outlay on this because I lived it and it actually serves a fantastic purpose. Now the other thing you'll notice is he un as he unzips this, you're gonna see the inside here. There is gonna be a mesh lining. Let me just unsnap this because like we talked about earlier, Everything's clearly labeled where it goes, whether you're wearing the, the puffer thermal underneath or on the outside, you're going to have clear labels for everything. And you have a really nice slip liner with this. So even if you're just wearing a t-shirt underneath without the actual thermal liner, you're not going to have that PVC style material feeling against your skin. And again, it's that proprietary H2O out. But I love the fact that they put that slip liner in there just so it's more comfortable against your skin. Now, as you can see here, it is going to be that full thermal liner, full sleeve thermal to keep you warm as well as dry. But so you go ahead and zip up for me. Now, while he's zipping up, keep in mind, as the name implies, this is the four season option from Speedy. Massive amounts of vents to get you into the summer and then a nice destination rain liner as well as a full sleeve thermal to get you into the wet and the cold in the winter and fall months. Now, there's a lot of riders out there that are utilizing Speedy gear. And if you want to hear more about what they have to say, Click the info button on your desktop or mobile device to read other rider reviews from folks that are already putting speedy jackets through the paces. If you have more questions for us, reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot us over an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the speedy four season H2 out jacket. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.